A tall man walks into my flower shop. He's wearing sunglasses. He's got a buzz cut for a hairstyle. He's wearing an expensive black suit. It looks like Versace. His shoes look like they're Christian Louis Vuitton. This man is money. He approaches me as I give a customer her flowers. The customer takes the flowers and then leaves. Cornelius Lawrence. I ordered lilies to be sent to an address. 18 Lawrence House. I look at my ordering sheet. Oh, right, Cornelius, where are you? I find Cornelius' name on the sheet of paper and cross it off. I tried to call you, I just needed the message you wanted to send with the flowers. Oh, right. Cornelius takes off his sunglasses. I stare at him for a second. I'm blown away. He's yummy. Wow. I snap out of it. Um, so the message? I hope you're burning in hell, you old bat. I beg your pardon? You heard me. That's my message. I was told these flowers were for a funeral. I can't possibly write that message for a funeral flowers. Yeah, you can. You have fingers. Right. Excuse me? Look, lady, all I want is for you to write a little message and send it. So it's not like I'm asking you to torture someone. Don't you think you should show whoever is about to receive these flowers some love? They just lost someone. I don't care. I need this done pronto. Cornelius bangs on the table and then smiles at me. Okay, mister. I don't know who you are, but you do not come in here and order me around. I own this florist, and I've built it from the ground up. I'm about to yawn. In that time, my shop has shown its customers exemplary customer service. I am not about to ruin my reputation for a dumb son of a bitch like yourself. Are we clear on that, jackass? I think you've ruined your reputation. You know what? You're losing your temper. Well, I'm telling you, anyway. I wish you wouldn't. The world needs to show more people respect, kindness, and love. You need to learn how to do that yourself, or your life will always be cold and heartless. All I want is a message. Why are you taking this so personal? Please, do your job. It's not like it's rocket science. I would shoot you if I had a gun, you know. Great. Will you write the message? Or do I need to go somewhere else? You know where the door is. Cornelius checks his watch. Okay. I haven't got the time to go anywhere else for this. I have to be at the church to bury the old hatter in ten minutes. What would it take for me to receive these flowers from you? I need your apology and show of intent to write a positive message. Here's a counter offer. I don't write any positive messages, and you learn to live with it. Are we clear on that, Pumpkin? The man has the cheek to touch my face. We don't want your business. Goodbye. I aim to go to the back. Hang on a minute. You didn't let me finish. I was going to suggest that you write the message for me. I don't do favors for anyone rude to me. Don't let the door hit you on the backside on your way out. Three grand in cash if you write the damn message. You have five seconds to decide. Three grand? Yeah. I'll give you three grand to save your struggling business. My business isn't struggling. Yes, it is. How dare you come in here and make accusations you know nothing about? Lady, I'm Cornelius Lawrence. I own every shop on this block. I have 25 successful businesses paying me premium rent. I know my shit. You don't. I glare at him. He thinks I care about that. So I own this shop. I know how badly your business is struggling. Do you want the money or not? Your five seconds is up. Get the fuck out! What? I need those flowers. And I need you to walk the fuck out of my shop right now. Come on, lady. Get the fuck out of my shop before I scream murder. Right. Right. Look, I'm sorry. The door is behind you. I walk towards the door and put the closed sign on the door. Cornelius follows me to the door. He puts on his sunglasses and walks out of the shop. You're making a massive mistake. I'll do a Carlton Banks on you. Cornelius chuckles and then walks out. There's a car waiting for him. He walks over to it.